Military operations have chased Boko Haram out of towns and cities across Nigeria's northeast since early last year. But it is only recently that people have begun returning to their homes in Adamawa State, near the border with Cameroon. Christine traveled to the area and has this report. The last service held at the EYN Church in Michika ended in gunfire. Boko Haram insurgents stormed the town during Sunday worship nearly two years ago, in September 2014. EYN's worshippers now gather amid the ruins. The congregation has lost several hundred members. There are a mix of uh, reasons. Some, uh, their houses have been burned down. Some, uh, uh, that's one of the reasons. They don't have shelters. Some are still afraid of coming back. Towns across Adamawa State are slowly coming back to life, but it's not the same life as before Boko Haram. Residents live with the scars of the insurgents' brief occupation. Boko Haram sacked this school. It's since been mostly rebuilt. In the villages outside Michika, devastation remains. Outside Michika, they have burned all the necessary places that we used them. Uh, houses, schools, and they have killed many people. Local vigilantes fought alongside the military to push Boko Haram out of towns in Adamawa State, but it came at a cost. A vigilante in Gombe, Husseini Bunja, was shot through the arm during combat. He can't work because of the injury. I only get assistance in the market and among friends who know I have the problem or when I beg outside my house. People often assist. Some give 500 naira, some 200, some 100. One charity is also helping me. When Boko Haram descended on Gombe, Habiba Nasiru hid in this room. She eventually fled the town with her siblings while her father stayed to fight the insurgents. Fear of Boko Haram lingers. There are things you could do comfortably before that you can't do now. Because before you didn't think of it. It was far away from you. Now you can see it with your eyes and hear it with your ears and you begin to imagine that what happened is still happening and you become jittery. The region still lives under threat. Two days after VOA visited Michika, Boko Haram opened fire on a funeral in a village north of the town, killing 18 people. Chris Stein for VOA News, Michika, Nigeria.